family of a retired FBI agent who vanished years ago in Iran is begging for his release. It is another in a long line of issues between the Islamic Republic and the U.S. National Security Correspondent Jennifer Griffin looks at whether we are already at war with Iran. The capture of a downed U.S. Sentinel drone revealed that the U.S. was flying spy missions from an air base in western Afghanistan, actively gathering information over Iran. It's the latest in a series of mysterious events, including explosions and assassinations targeting Iran's nuclear scientists. Some argue the covert war against Iran's nuclear program is underway. It began more than a year ago. First, a cyber attack on Natanz, 1,000 centrifuges destroyed by the Stuxnet worm. Then a dozen mysterious explosions at the homes of Iran's nuclear scientists. The head of Iran's atomic energy organization is wounded by a car bomb. An explosion at a secret missile base and the head of a long-range missile program is killed. Two weeks later, there is a blast at a uranium enrichment plant in Isfahan. Satellite images from August 27, 2011 show buildings that had been in Isfahan for 15 years near the plant. They disappear after the November blast. Uh, but the, the fact that you, there were reports about uh, an explosion uh, somewhere near the nuclear site at Isfahan, it, it warrants more uh, scrutiny um, uh, when it comes to these to, to a facility that used to be standing but it, but is now gone. The explosion at a missile base near Tehran not only killed the head of Iran's missile program who was developing missiles that could strike Israel, the blast also killed 17 members of Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps. There are indications Iran was testing a new solid fuel rocket. As they were doing the final preparations, fully loaded with the warhead and the fuel, it exploded. And with it, it took the entire crew of their missile team, including the top commander and the top missile expert. And now with tensions at an all-time high, the family of FBI agent Robert Levinson, who went missing in Iran in 2007, released a video that they received a year ago from his captors. In it, he is pleading for help. U.S. Central Command has been honing military plans lately, concerned Israel will decide covert action is not enough and strike Iran's nuclear program itself. At the Pentagon, Jennifer Griffin, Fox News.